hell is this shit? I have to drive my Lexus in the snow? same dyno that we dyno the car at before with the muffler delete because I want to see if there is any difference in power with the catback setup from Joe Z um, things that we have changed since then so we got rid of the muffler delete and the secondary cat delete full catback Joe Z I sold my RR racing carbon fiber intake so we're on the stock intake we still have the AFE uh, filter itself instead of the original paper filter. And other than that, the car is stock. So it's just a filter and a full cap like exhaust. We'll see what it puts down because when I had my muffler delete, guys, I loved the sound. It sounded beastly as hell, but there was no back pressure and the car felt in the lower rpms like where you're normally driving day in day out from a thousand rpms to three thousand there was no torque whatsoever it did it just felt terrible as soon as i put the josie on bam that torque is there i feel it night and day difference with the low end torque having mufflers and having that back pressure so i'm not expecting any crazy up top numbers let's say you know last time we made uh, 406 and like 379 with a fifth gear pull so we're gonna do the same thing again two fifth gear pulls and then one fourth gear pull just for shits and giggles I'm not doing any six gear pulls because that doesn't uh, it hits the speed limiter and he doesn't let you go to red line so that's pointless for us so uh, I'm just curious to see how the mid-range power increase is compared to what we had with the muffler delete because it does feel a lot more beefier throughout the power band so we will find out we'll get it strapped up on the dyno and we'll see what the numbers are guys hope you enjoy this one if you're new to the channel please make sure you hit that subscribe button smash that bell icon so you can stay up to date with all the future videos and we are about 15 minutes away according to the GPS and we'll get this show on the road for you guys. All right, stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at Blueprint Auto Sport. GSF is waiting for its turn. Well, really, just for that Evo to get off the dyno. But let's just take a look and admire how beautifully this car is sitting, guys. CKS coils, perfect stance, perfect lowering in the front and back, not too low. When you're driving, the back settles a little bit, so it's a little lower, but 15 millimeter spacers in the back, 20 in the front is absolute must on the stock wheels. Josie exhaust, damn, it's actually pretty dirty. I gotta clean that up, but as you can see, snow and everything around here, it's annoying this weather for it being to, before Thanksgiving already snowing and having temperatures way below freezing, but Evo, cold start. Oh, quiet like a baby.
so that's the, the timing. Yes, is the is the RPM pickup. So it shows on the monitors what the RPMs are at. Also, and like it it, it uh, measures the torque. Okay. So the torque is actually it, it it measures like actually how fast the tongue pulses, uh -huh. and compared to that, it can measure the torque. Okay, cool. All right, guys, the car is all strapped up. Last time in fourth gear, it made around 411 horse and 379. He's going to have that last run to compare to the one we're going to do today. But we're going to do the same thing. Two five gear pulls and one fourth gear pull. We're not doing six gear pulls, like I said. And we'll see what it puts down. We will see. And we're going to do runs from 3,000 RPMs. Because last time we did it from a little higher, 44 and a half, so I could see where it does a little lower down. So I'll probably have this camera posted here so we can get you some exhaust clips and then I'll be filming with my iPhone on the screen. three runs are over and I'm impressed with the numbers because we have made some power gains so the first pull fifth gear 412 376 second gear fifth gear 421 386 and then the last pull fourth gear 425 and torque drop 371 but that is some impressive numbers capback actually made a difference with a stock intake instead of the aftermarket one super impressive thank you to blueprint autosport we're always hooking it up with a good dyno. All right, three pull, three dyno pulls later. We are finished on the way back home. I'm gonna go to the gym, but let's talk about some numbers and how the car sounded. I was standing behind the car each time he did a pull, and goddamn, it is sounding beautiful. It's such a deep tone. It's just a deep, clean tone, no rasp, nothing crazy like before i mean i loved it before but this is just a subtle classy luxury style sound and i love it anyway first pull um last time we did this it was about 60 
59 degrees. Today it's 40 degrees, so it is slightly cooler. Could have probably contributed to some better numbers, but the first pull we did in fifth gear came out to, I don't have the numbers in front of me. Actually, let me pull it up on my phone, maybe that would help. First pull was higher in fifth gear than what my last pull did in fourth gear. So we got 412 horse, 379 torque. The torque is very consistent throughout at the peak torque. Um, second pull, fifth gear, 421. So that jumped basically nine horsepower and seven pound-feet of torque to 368. And just to keep everything, you know, steady and the same as we did last time, I did a pull in fourth gear and that gained us the highest number of horsepower at 425 in fourth and then uh, the torque dropped a little bit to 371 but that's expected so am i impressed hell yes i'm impressed the car feels better it feels torquier with the exhaust with the stock intake tubing so i mean higher numbers just the capback exhaust and we're making 425 horsepower and four and 386 pound feet of torque i mean for a naturally aspirated engine, it's impressive. Even the guy said, he's like, for a big naturally aspirated engine, it's making good power, it's healthy. So, love this car. Gonna get to enjoy it, drive it a little bit longer. I mean, look at this. Snow everywhere. I can't, I mean, I cannot believe I'm driving this, but for you guys and to get this dyno, I took the car out in these salty roads. But uh, hope you enjoyed, subscribe, like, comment below. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.